Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm in my plugins uh, folder. Well, not my folder, the plugins section of my WordPress dashboard. Now, um, you can easily deactivate all of these um, plugins at once. All you have to do is press on here and they're all ticked and then go to bulk actions and press deactivate and apply. Okay, quickly do that. Okay, so that deactivates all of the plugins. Right, now um, I'll just show you the site in another tab. So that's the site there. Now we've deactivated the plugins. So that means that um, a couple of things won't be working on there. Now, what I'm going to do is go into my server because this is about deactivating your plugins without having to log in. Now I'll just activate them again, which is very easy. So I'll just select them all, activate and apply. So they're going to be activated again. Now I'll just go into a post on this um, site here. So I'll go in there. we've got comment love there so when I deactivate these plugins then this one will disappear <coughs> okay so what I'm going to do is there's two ways to do this now one way is through FTP so you can use um, an FTP software or something or you can go in here and just say go to file manager um, choose the website that you want so I'll just go there press go okay so this is going to take me into the file section of that website now what I need to do is go to the plugin section so we're going to go into WP content and there's the plugins there. Now we want to deactivate them right without having to log in. So what we're going to do here is select it and make it blue and we can go up the top here and press on rename. Okay and we just all we have to do is change it just one little bit even just put a number on there or you can put a word on there, you can do anything you like. So, okay, it's renamed. Now, when you go into your plugins in here, <coughs> they're all going, let's refresh this. Just refresh this page, just press on plugins again. And they've all been deactivated, okay? All right. Now that is without me coming in here. If we want to put them back, just rename the folder again. Rename. And then just take away that one and press rename. Okay, so we're back to normal. Go back in, press on the plugins. And there they are again but you still need to activate them. Okay, so let's click on it on this button and it ticks them all and we're going to activate them. Apply. Now you see how easy this is? Now people need to deactivate the plugins sometimes when they want to troubleshoot problems because 90% of the time a plugin causes the problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more way. Um, we're going to go into PHP Admin. Okay, click on that. And this is going to show us the database. Now you've got to choose which one um, if you've got a lot of websites installed. So I'm, I've just gone for number one, which is the site that I've been showing you. 
Now, what we want to do here is go into WordPress options. Okay, this is a table. We're going in. Just press on it. And we're looking for um, active plugins. And I think it's on page two. So we'll just, there it is there, active plugins. Okay, now what we want to do is press edit. Okay, so all of this is the active plugins there. Okay, so all we have to do is delete that, all of it, and just press go down the bottom here. Okay, so we're done. Now when we go back again, we're going to do the same old thing again. We'll press on plugins to refresh it and they're all deactivated. There we go. So if I want to activate them again, I'll just do that. Um, the other thing is that instead of just deleting that text in the PHP, maybe you could copy it if you wanted to and then paste it back in. Okay, because sometimes activating and deactivating helps as well. All right, um, I hope that helps you troubleshoot your problems in WordPress by deactivating a plugin without having to log in. All right, thanks for watching.